So you think Jason's gonna meet Charles somewhere tonight? Well, he's not gonna show up to Allie's house with all those cops up front, so it's probably gonna be someplace outside of Rosewood. I put one of Caleb's GPS trackers on Jason's car, so the second he moves, we can follow him today. Follow him? We're being tracked too, remember? Charles will know we're onto him. That's why we have to remove our chips and leave them behind. Our phones, anything that A could be monitoring. Charles has to think he's in the clear. We can't ambush A. Charles has everything but superpowers. Hey, guys, listen to me. This has to be some sort of a trap. A is always one step ahead of us. Emily's right. Allie asked you to keep Jason safe. Not to get us all kidnapped again. We need to take this to the police and just step back from it. The second this goes over the police radio or an email, A is going to know he's being followed. He's never going to show up. Well, that's fine by me. I don't want him anywhere near us. Wait, so we're just supposed to give up? Let Charles keep owning our lives and keep lying to the ones that we love? I'm not going to live like that. We'll tell Toby. He's got a badge and a gun. He can keep us safe. We can follow Jason without Charles knowing. And if anything goes wrong, he's going to be right there. What about Sarah? What happens when A retaliates? Arya, if this works, I promise you there's not going to be any fallout. Charles is never going to be able to hurt us or anybody that we love ever again. So let's say we go through with this. How the hell are we supposed to remove these microchips? Well, Spencer and I have been studying videos online. You can't be serious. Oh my god. Who wants to go first?